thank you for watching this video which highlights the custom woodwork and casework throughout this Fisher Island home. When you first enter in the foyer, there's a custom made bench to your right and this is made out of a lime green leather with organic natural latex foam for the cushion and then below that there are cubbies to store shoes so I'll just go down as though you're going down into the space so you can see that So this way you can sit on the bench and take your shoes on and off when you enter and exit the home. And these corners you'll see are slightly rounded on each end and that detail is important to make sure no one hurts themselves and the woodwork and the leather do not chip or get damaged easily. So let's stand back up. That is piece number one, the bench and shoe storage. Then when we come into the powder room, of course you'll notice the plant tile, uh, but for woodwork, there is a live edge ledge above the sink and also a custom live edge mirror. So those are two more accessory items for woodwork. Now let's make our way into the dining room. And this piece is a ladder that is made out of acrylic or epoxy and wood. You'll notice the openings here and the curves on the way up and in the back you have the same uh, epoxy and wood supporting it and then in the wood you have concealed attachments to the wall. So that's a display case for the dining room. Right next to it and complementing it you have the kids table which is made out of a teak or similar wood and epoxy, it's eco epoxy, so non-toxic resin. And the base of that is a curved design to complement the live edge look uh, within the table and also the curves of the display case. To our right, the next piece is this large buffet, and those are continuous drawers with reveals for the handles, no exposed hardware, which is the way the cabinetry is throughout the home. And then we have the Verde uh, bamboo quartzite countertop above that. And if you look right above that, the next piece is a live edge river mirror. And that is made by burning the wood with a live edge look to the frame on each side to create that river effect. And the burning technique is to be similar and match the burned oak wood floors that we already have for the home. And the mirror is to be a patina antique mirror. So there's some teals, some green, some gold, which will pick up on the other colors in the space. Next, these two pieces are actually hidden passageways. They look like bookcases, but they are doors to other rooms one on each side and then in the middle we have 
a bookcase that needs to be built to match that. So the doors on each side, the hidden passageway bookcases, come unfinished. It'll be a raw wood. And then the middle bookcase is to be built, matching the specifications and size of the two adjacent hidden bookcases. come in through this door and this is the first kids room and in this space you have the bed with storage shelves file drawers and a wardrobe and that has to be a rift cut white oak with a white stain or lye bleach to give that real light effect and an orange stain where shown at the bottom on the drawers and on the doors. You'll notice that this all comes together. This is the mattress and the piece below. I have shown as individual storage drawers. Uh, through my talks with the owner, we might adjust that to be a pull-out bed below another mattress. We'll go back out through this door and I will show you kids room number two. In kids room number two, it is the mirror image of what you have in kids room number one. And the only difference is that we are using a light blue stain instead of an orange stain. And these colors are designed to complement what we have in the middle, which is an Everblock wall. These are just like Legos. That is a partition to make two bedrooms without actually having to erect a real wall. And the blues and oranges also pick up on the tiles. When we come back into the dining room, I'd like to point out the wall hanging planters. What's shown is a piece from, uh, it's a piece called Nova Nordic, and it is just a circle of wood with two pieces of glass. The back has glass, and then the front has a half piece of glass so that you can place plants within it and I have two of them one on each side potentially we could have you make these instead of ordering the product so that it matches exactly with the stain and looking back here you can see the bar that's designed to match the buffet the top of the bar is existing to remain the bottom half this conceals a wine cooler and this conceals storage so this will be pull open cabinets and then right next to that there's the fish tank how everything is exactly designed will be coordinated obviously with the fish tank builder but the wood is to match the wood we have in the dining room at the bar and buffet. And as you can see, the size of the fish tank is made to match this next piece, which is the living room built in. And this is designed so that you have a base full of drawers and the dark wood. You have a little ledge on top of that in the white oak and there are two reed nooks one on each side as you'll see here you have its orange leather that wraps again organic foam to create the seats the high back and if you notice here if you look real carefully 
you'll see there are shelves that conceal books and then also this first drawer as you'll see in the drawings that will come and pivot out sorry pivot out this way so that you can set a book on it and be comfortable while you read there's one of those on each side and then these are doors with storage and shelves all across here there's no TV and you have the planter which wraps around again in that dark wood and the mirrors that continue around the side and the back and what I've shown in the drawings is that this back panel you can see sticks out some from the wall and that is to conceal an LED strip that runs this entire length behind the mirror so you have this L shape on top with the LED strip as well as below the LED strip comes in the toe kick all around here and that is a dimmable LED so that you have ambient light when you do not want to use the task lighting next we'll come into the kitchen in the kitchen I have a full video that thoroughly explains it so I'll just show this very briefly you have the white marker board with a frame that's the same as the burned oak base that's going to be provided and then you have the marker storage area below that casework and countertop backsplash and you can see that this solid surface extends all the way up to the ceiling on that side this panel lifts up with the countertop and backsplash continuing so that you have a place to store small appliances solid surface comes across here and again extends all the way up to the edge and this meets the door frame if you notice the side here these uppers look seamless and that is intentional with the handle I'll just scoot up concealed below so that is just in this space And if you look at these, you can see the reveal handle wraps around the corner. And this is encouraging you to move through the space. And when you get to the middle, it's more static because this is an area where you're cooking and standing still, where you aren't trying to move people through the space. And then when you get to this end, the reveal stops. It does not continue around the corner. And that's intentional to show how this is a separate space. It's a subtle clue to the user. The solid surface wraps all the way around the column and you have a seamless Integrity One sink. The other pieces that need to be made are these hexagon forms. And I won't spend more time here because, like I said, there's already a full separate video about the kitchen.
Now let's go into kids room number three. In the third kids room, there are full size bunk beds. Again with storage below. Rock climbing wall to get up to it. And then a pillow pit with monkey bars attached to it. And what I'd like to point out here is that this side, the back, and that side of the pillow pit, these three sides, all have a white marker board laminate. And the inside of the bottom bunk has a white marker board laminate on these two sides with a little ledge. And then this is uh, full solid, there are no openings, so you have the support for the rock climbing grips. To your right, the wardrobe with the planter on the top, storage, and the desk. And this desk, again, is a white marker board laminate, and this inset is a white marker board laminate. So the desk and the backsplash, the inside of the bed on the two sides, and the pillow pit and monkey bars on the three sides all have white marker board. We make our way into kids room number four. You'll see a custom made desk. This is again a rift cut white oak with the thicker white paint, not necessarily the bleach, but I still want to be able to see the wood grain slightly through it. And then a gray stain. Again with a file drawer and pencil drawer and then a white lattice so that you can clip things, binder clip, and hang things up here your designated space. The dark wood tree bookshelves. You can see how those work from the corner with doors below for additional storage. And you have a mirror of the desk on the other side of this white fence with a gate that's a five foot high white fence and gate and as you'll see the house bunk bed this bunk opens up on this side and then the top bunk opens up on the other side so that when you have the fence closed or the gate closed which I will show you You've made two pretty private rooms for the kids, as opposed to having to really share a room with your sibling. Some of the details I'll point out. You can see I've designed it so that the frame slightly sticks out. And this also allows the shutters from the window, which are functional, to rest within the space. There's nothing sticking out past that edge. The interior, again, it's the gray stain. We make our way to the other side. And you will see on each side, I'm showing these shelves, which is a green stained white oak that replicates a bush. And when we face this side, you'll see you have the ladder up with a piece that becomes a balance bar. 
with the mirror on this side rather than the gray stain so that the daughter has a location to practice ballet. Take these, the ladder up. There's a guardrail here. You can see the exposed rafters and the window. So you have a little playhouse theme and it's functional in many respects and pretty private for each kid. Now let's make our way into the master bedroom. The master bed, where I go into detail in the drawings, you can see the bench and the storage columns with the planter above, the full height headboard, the nightstand cubbies, one on each side, so that this opens up to the inside. These columns have storage that open up to the outside. And within this space, I'm showing a drawer that opens up to this side so you can store things and pull the drawers out and easily reach it from the bed. The bench has shoe storage drawers so a place for your shoes. Full height bookcase with the mirror back. Helps the space feel bigger. And then drawers with the planter below the window. Desk space. You can see file size drawers as well as the smaller drawers. With the desk where the dark wood wraps around and ends at the bed. The cork back wall and the floating shelves. I'm also showing a custom made pencil holder and with the cork we could make uh, a coaster as well so it's all very intentional. This is the master closet. So as you can see You have four doors, a his and her side, and I will open those doors so that you can see inside the master closet. As you can see, the doors themselves have storage, so you have shelves on the inside of the door. And then you have shelves, little shelves, and this is a hanging rod. It's, it'll be stacked just like luggage would, where you have the hanger wrap around. A couple more shelves. And then above that, a pull down metal rod, so you can have more hanging within the door. This is her side. So you have the rod going across for shirts to be hung, shirts and pants, and then this area for dresses to be hung. And you have the shelf above. When we go to his side, again, that door and that door are the same. It's a mirror image from her closet. The difference on this side is that where we have the drawers, this shelf continues across. So 
that you can have a second area, a second rod below. You have two levels to hang. And then a couple of additional shelves on that side. So, that'll show you more his and her closet. And how it ties in to the rest of the master suite. The dark and light woods in this space are all to be the same. And I will go ahead and close the doors. And we will make our way into the master bathroom. This is a custom glass door that is being made. And as you'll see, the door slide open. It's his and her yin yang fire and ice door. And in the master bathroom, to our left, this is a black marble piece with a hamper below, the counter to lift up, and the doors, of course, on the side cladding the existing wall and adding uppers and then a mirror in the back. The master bath, we are adding floating two floating steps with lights below. And this is all to be white marble or similar solid surface and then gray on this wall with the black on the ends. This is a live edge, or sorry, uh, living wall on each side. The bath. New master vanity that has a white marble shelf and drawers with the integrated sinks and cladding the existing wall with the white marble and the mirrors that are there now are to remain. So you see the white marble highlighting the bath and the vanity, and then the black marble with the mirror back on each end of the vanity. And this space has storage above and below. The existing walls are to receive the gray marble. And the doors for the shower and bathroom are to have a white glass. Once you come inside, you'll see the white marble is on the back wall on the floor of the bathroom. And the gray marble is on the side walls. And the shower, the gray marble can use on this wall and the interior is all white marble. The plumbing fixtures are being replaced and we're making this a steam shower but I want to show you the white marble, gray marble, and the black marble because it all ties in to the casework. Whether we use a real marble or a solid surface that mimics marble is to be de determined and coordinated with you. That is the design for the master bathroom. Just want to point out something else in the living room. So if you notice this coffee table is also to be custom made. The planter in the corner and this wood matches this cabinetry so it has a cutout for the planter in this corner away from where you're sitting and then in the corner over here you can see there's a little notch 
out so you can store magazines or other items. I'll just zoom in. Below that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Some items obviously will be made by different people. Uh, but I'm saying the same video to you so you can see the design. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.